Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a uh, get ready with me, a quick 10 minute tutorial for hair and makeup, just the way I do my makeup in the morning. Um, I just wanna have a disclaimer, I am not a beauty guru. This is just the products and the routine that works for me. But if you guys are excited for this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and enjoy. So I'm just gonna start this video out by doing my hair. I always like to do my hair first because then I can just get it out of the way. That usually takes me the longest. So I'm just gonna use my curling wand and do a bunch of curls all over my head. And I always let it sit in my hair for like 10 to 15 seconds. And then I'll hold it in my hand till it cools and then just let it lay itself down. That way I know that the curls are going to last in my hair because my hair literally does not hold a curl. Another tip that I have for you guys when curling your hair is always curl away from your face. That will literally give you the best results. I always curl away. Until I get to the back, then I'll just do random curls. But the front two pieces, I'll always curl away from my face. And then I always like to get my beauty sponge wet and I'll just squeeze out the excess water, but getting your beauty sponge wet will give you the best results on your face. It literally makes all of the difference. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Sunday Riley moisturizer. This stuff seriously has changed the game for my skin. It is so hydrating. So if you have dry skin, I know it's expensive, but totally give it a try because it is freaking amazing. And then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Putty Primer. Um, this is a total dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I've used both of them and they are so similar, it's crazy. One is $52 and the other one is like $4 at the drugstore. And then I'll just quickly fill in my eyebrows. I don't do anything too crazy on like busy mornings because my eyebrows are already pretty full anyways. So I just fill in the spaces, line them a little bit. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. And literally this eyebrow pencil is amazing. The best eyebrow pencil that they have right now. For foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. This stuff is so good. It is like the best drugstore foundation that I've tried. It covers up all my redness. It blends into my skin super easily. So if you haven't tried it, get to the store and get it. Seriously, it makes your skin look freaking amazing and it's so breathable. It literally covered up all of my redness, all of my imperfections, and doesn't look cakey. Then I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier finishing powder. Bomb. Freaking bomb.com. It's almost out, so I'm gonna have to get some more. I don't go too crazy with the powder. Literally a little bit of this will have your makeup lasting all day. And I always use my beauty blender to just pounce it into the skin. Then I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Cocoa Chocolate Soleil. This bronzer, if you're cool toned, is good. Just taking on my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. 
and I just lightly bronze my cheeks up. I don't really contour too much. Just a little. Just give me some more color. I'm gonna then go in with my favorite blush. It's the Temptations Weekend from Tarte. And the palette just looks like this. I use the highlighter and the blush all the time. And I'm just gonna throw a little bit of blush on my cheeks and I always do a little bit on my nose as well. Not, not a whole lot. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe highlighting brush. And this highlighter shade is called Beach Getaway. It's stunning. I'm just gonna highlight the top of my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow a little bit. And then literally my last step is going to be mascara. And I'm just using Better Than Sex Too Faced. It's also the freaking best. Does anybody else make a stupid face when they put mascara on? Pretty sure it's pretty common. Then I'll just pop on my Morphe setting spray. Now that my hair has had time to set the curls, I'm just going to brush my fingers through it. And then this is the finished look. If you guys like this kind of video, let me know down below and go ahead and like and subscribe for more videos.